and the security they don't guys. Seem to be, they don't right, seem to be concerned, the security guy. Yeah, 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 it's all right, right, Neil Tyson driving <laughs> an exactly. SUV, no problem. Right. We're okay. Uh, uh, he's got a look on his face hey, like, yeah. what the hell hey, are you hey. doing? Uh oh. All right, here we go. All right. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Hello. Ah, How you doing, ah, man? <laughs> Uh, what do we want to do? Yeah, if we could just pull in and leave it for a second, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, that yeah, would probably be good. Yeah, he yeah. looked at me, didn't say yeah. he, he saw. He saw Mike and only. You know that that we is the only first okay. time that'll ever happen in the history of the world. We were only okay. Someone will see Neil Tyson, right. Neil deGrasse Tyson, right. and look at me. What the hell are you doing here? Look at the back car at us and say, okay, yeah, you guys can come in. Who's that guy with Mike messing with This is Neil deGrasse Tyson right here. You're in area right there. All right. So this is very cool. We're here on the deck of the Intrepid. That's right. And you work here. I do. That's yes. Cool. I, yes. I. Uh, I am on the staff here. I advise here. You advise. I help out. What do you yeah. advise? Whatever. Whatever they need advice on. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly space stuff space and some stuff. aviation stuff. Right. But okay. I'm cool the space stuff. guy. I'm the space There's guy. Cool yeah. Stuff here. Yeah. So it's you awesome. were talking about the fact that uh, well, Neil told me in the car that this they fished the guys out of the water. Yes. On this was the ship. Yeah, which, which is it? Where did they take out of the water? Yeah, I, I, you know, it was a Gemini flight. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, okay. But they took, you know, so what they did back in those days, and it is very cool to come to work on an aircraft carrier, by the way, I'm right? That's where you are now. But what they did back in... Car. I work on an aircraft carrier. I work on an aircraft carrier. It's, it's very, parked. It's really... <laughs> yes. You know, How does it get parked? And, it's, what the and as far show? as I know, there's no more live ordinance. Right. <laughs> so I think okay. we're safe here, and no one's shooting at us today. Right. But, uh, but, yeah, so what they did back in the old days, unlike the shuttle, which we also have here, which landed on a runway, they would they would... Uh, splash down in the ocean, and that was the way they did it with Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. And did so I get they it had. Right? It was in the Pacific. It, 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 always, it was seen always being in the Pacific. I think just the biggest ocean you could find. It's the biggest. Why take a risk? You're gonna land yeah, on the crap. Earth because oh, you crap. Miss, you, we yes. hit Atlanta. <laughs> you want to miss the Pacific? Atlantic. We would have been a couple hundred miles up. Yes, yeah, so you okay. get the it's Pacific, and they would have a they would have like a carrier. So, oh, like a third of all Earth's longitude passes through the Pacific. I'm, t I'm telling yeah. you, if, if you're in space, you know, someone asks you where you are, just say over, over the Pacific. The Pacific. And that's where you're, you're going to get it right. You're always a, There's a lot of water. Okay. You, know, you see that planet, right. and you're like, where is the land? You come, you hit, finally hit land like Africa, and the next thing yeah. you know, it's gone, and you're over water again. Okay. A lot of water. Pacific's a big one. That's where they splash down. The helicopter looked like that, though. That's a Coast Guard helicopter. Coast Guard. But a, but a Navy helicopter in the house. Them. Yeah, that wasn't that guy. Mm -hmm. But a rescue helicopter like that would go pick the guys up, bring them back to the ship, and uh, then he would you know, get ready to come home. So I mean, that's what, yeah, so we covered spaceships on uh, aircraft carriers like this. And, uh, you know, it served in the wars and did, has a great history here in Nelson Museum. So, so it was in a second, second World War. Second World and War. And in and Korea and Vietnam. Vietnam. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Boy, yep, yep. And uh, now it, uh, it's a museum. Any of these you fly? The I, only Blue one. Angels? No, no, no. I mean, you know, we got Blue Angels here. We've got an F-16. We've got a, so this is my, a the spy F plane. F-16 is my sentimental favorite Why is that? airplane. Why? It's is it just fly so one? sleek. It is. It's just so, it's just so beautiful. It's it just is like a little bird. Still being used. Very, uh, and they, the pilots, it's a re, you know, reclined cockpit, the seat, they're able to, it's like Don't a Don't recline me stick. too much. <laughs> yeah, you can sit back, they love it. The pilots who flew this absolutely love it. Yeah. You gotta keep them under 30. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. you go yeah. over 40, you're asleep. You're afraid you're gonna go to sleep? Yeah, no. I think this would keep you awake. It's not like it was a lazy yeah, boy. Yeah, going to sleep. <laughs> lazy boy. It's a lazy boy. They put I a lazy boy in the cockpit. No, I, in that, in, you know, see, there's only one guy, too. Yeah. See, in the airplane I flew in a T-38, we could take a nap. Because oh, you had two T38 guys. Right here. T38 straight, straight ahead. Straight that's the only airplane that I've flown in on this deck. Because uh, that's the only high performance airplane okay. I've ever flown in. That's the that was little plane. On the it whole is a little baby, <laughs> but that's, it is sleek. A I thought you, you know, were a badass. Yeah, no, I'm not. I, a, th he told I am me, not a badass. He told. Me, he, I'm not a badass. No. Okay. Yeah, no. These guys. And, and, you know, if you're so gonna, T for trainer. T right? for trainer. The, guy, the, the men and women that flew these other airplanes went into combat with these airplanes. Okay. That's a different story. Okay. We use this airplane to train, and a lot of my colleagues who were military pilots, that's how they train to learn how to fly within a T-38. You're in a rocket. Why yes. do you need to train in an airplane? Right. So what we, what we classify that training in the airplane is space flight readiness training. So you can't go to space to practice. You have to do all your practice on the ground. In aviation, the whole aviation environment, working together with a pilot, co-pilot, working with air traffic control, flying a high-performance so machine. And, and it's the setup. culture. It's a culture. The it's crew, crew coordination, okay. checklists, emergencies, okay. mission planning, all that. High G turns. Uh, we did a lot of because it's so little. So, what, so how it's G, very maneuverable. What's your biggest G? Uh, we went up to a, between six and seven Gs. Six and seven, yeah, just for just for a, a little blip. So the yeah. plane I want to fly is that one. Why? 
Well, yeah, why because is that? Because it's a spy plane? Bad, it's a spy plane, badass plane. And that's a fast airplane. Bad that's much, our airplane, the T-38 is a mock airplane, but you would have to dump a lot of fuel into the uh, afterburner to do that. You couldn't, you'd have to be pointed down to go Mach 1. That thing could cruise a lot faster than now. So that's really plus. fast. Yeah. Hey, you'll be going really so fast what's your and really plane? high. What's your favorite plane, Mike? Oh, the T-38. Oh, really? Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's oh, my that's airplane. That. It's a wonderful airplane. It's a very maneuverable airplane. You can do all kinds of really cool... Uh, you want to know, can uh, kick some ass? It does not have any ordinance. No, it, it does not a, have ass kicking abilities. Well, you can scare people See, by going, FPD. making it loud. Even the one on deck has got like the Sidewinder missile. Yeah, thing. this yeah. is a, that's got ordinance. Yeah, and it's missing a missile. Did, did somebody the use that? Is where your where did goes? you put that one? Wait, 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 that's what we had in there. We had a luggage pod in ours. We could put a luggage we could, pod. We had a yeah, pod. Yeah, yeah. You think it's like a major? We had a pod. We had a pod. Looked like you're taking it on vacation. We had a pod. It was a luggage pod. Underwear. Yeah, a snack. Wow. Yeah, that's what we have in ours. Yep, we that's had a luggage cool. pod. So it's not only National Aviation Day today. Today, okay, it is also. Mike Massimino's birthday. It is my birthday. Yeah. Yes. And you got me something from Chanel. Yes, I did. <laughs> Can you imagine? I didn't know you had that much of a budget. It's the world's only Chanel cupcake. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> so, oh, that is happy awesome, birthday. Man. I would have oh, lit my it, favorite but it's flavor. too. Look it's, at that. It's too damn windy up here to light the candle. Are these plastic fruits? No, are those they are real. They, they look. Real. They look fake. They do look, look fake, man. Now, now see, now I got to do this on camera. You eat one first. Neil, grab one of those things. Okay. Oh my God, they're fake. Okay. Are they really? Happy birthday, man. All right, great. It's candy. Oh, yeah, no, it's candy. It's not the fruit. Candy, the candy fruit. Thank you very much, Chuck. Thank man. you. You know, I, there's no place else I'd rather spend my birthday than with you guys, honestly.